Many of the physicians uh, in this hospital setting are exceedingly busy. So that if there are ways through grant writing or through donors and gifts that some of their time can be freed up to address the issues of research, I think that the entire university would benefit. Now the problem is that uh, work by physicians is structured in a different way here without uh, a useful, there's two issues, without a useful ability, ability to transfer time and money back and forth. And what I found was that many of the leaders of divisions and departments don't even know and have no role in the salaries that the physicians earn. So that it is very difficult to uh, reward a physician who is gifted in research by providing additional time to do that, that research. I did that through personally talking with the individuals and there are individuals who say that they are interested in research and they actually think they are but not necessarily are they because they do not realize how much work it takes. However, if you're going to do clinical research, you also need to have an environment in which you can see, for some time in a week, mostly those patients. So you can focus your attention, because if the patients you're interested in, such as morphia or psoriasis, are seen scattered throughout the day, it's very difficult to have creative ideas, but if you can have specialty clinics, then it's easier to do clinical trials, to, to have concepts of what the pathogenesis of a disease might be, or to talk to like-minded colleagues in that clinic. So focus and specialty clinics, I think, are very useful in that respect. The most important is to have good data. So in the preparation of good data to work with good people who can statistically state that your results will be useful, people who can say that this uh, study, which needs to be registered internationally, should be registered, people who can also help in the writing of a manuscript. We, we shouldn't expect an investigator to be perfect at the beginning, but we should expect that that kind of aid should be available, if at all possible. I work with two nurse practitioners in the pediatric dermatology clinic in Dallas. And they have taken over several studies started by faculty and residents, and they have completed them. They are full participants in the studies. They made it happen. They didn't design the study, but they're very good at operations. And I'm exceedingly happy that they have done that. So they are not investigators in the usual sense, but they are people who facilitate and they go on the paper because they're doing the work. Nurse practitioners have their own journal. They actually publish their clinical experience and what they know about taking care of patients. Now, nurse practitioners in Texas are legal providers. They can prescribe and they can, uh, they can't hospitalize, but they can prescribe and they can do an enormously valuable job of taking care of patients.